Well, what's up, people? Dr. Wolves is right here, and welcome to another Yu Gi Oh! pack opening. Last episode and the day, that episode before, bloody hell, people, we have been awesome. But now it's time for what one of you, what a lot of you guys have been waiting for, and you guys know you guys love mystery cubes. So we're going to open up two today, and we're going to open up the cheapest ones we have. Now, I did open up one off camera a few weeks back, and it was the 550 yen one. Every single card was was a um, a holographic card, and literally one card paid for the whole entire cube. So I've got some high hopes for these. These are 600 yen a piece, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for this, people, because some of the cards around here were some quite hefty cards. So we bought 660 yen with the tax. So 600 yen, though, so I paid just about three. About three quid, I say. Yeah, about three pound odd. Uh, about three pound sixty ish, I'm up there. So, I'm not too bad. I'm sure one of these cards in this round this area, which I have a feeling that this one is definitely going to be worth over three quid. And this one is definitely going to be over three quid, because this is a freaking ultimate rare card. So, I cannot wait. There is some weird yellowing ones in here, so possibly these are going to be quite old cards. We are hoping that every single one of these cards in these cubes are going to be all holographic. If they are, fantastic. If they're not, that means I've been scammed, which will be a big massive no-no for me. But either way, these are mystery cubes. I paid the money. I took the gamble. So, let's hope this gamble was worth it. I really do hope this gamble is worth it, people, because the first one was definitely worth the gamble and I regret opening it up off camera so hopefully these ones are not bad I really do hope not so let's try and open these up as civil as we can more likely I cannot so I need something sharp so we're gonna go for a pin right here so let's go ahead and pierce it there we go thank you Palkia so we're going to go ahead and get this card out first. I'm going to sleeve it up first. It's a little bit warped, but you can't help it. Heavy buff will definitely work it, but it's Pot of Extravagance, which is still an amazing card. It's a super rare, so that's really good. Um, I might um, check the, evaluate, the evaluation of all these lots after I've done it all, um, because, like I said, I'll probably do this. I'll probably do the evaluating of all these cards off camera so we have an idea how much it's all worth so this is from the collection i did in the last video this is the black luster soldier but it's a secret rare version so that is beautiful and then we got ourselves neptune one of the agents it's a super rare right there possibly that's like i said every single card could be worth at least a pound a piece for all we know so literally this looks like about 200 cards here so £1 plus 200 times 200, that's £200 right there. So, yeah. Now, let's hope, because this is the last card to check before this is the last one to see that we knew that it was a hollow. So let's hope the next one is a hollow. Oh, no. And this is a dual terminal card, so this is actually not too bad. So we've got a dual terminal there. Right, I'm going to go backwards like this, just so it's still a mystery for me. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please be something in here. Oh, we got a rare. That's not too bad. This is not going to be good. Oh, dear Lord. This is not good. Oh, no. All oh, common. Come on, there's got to be some big hitters in here. Another rare. At least some good rare. A good, a please be some good commons as well, though. Some, there is some good commons that could be quite useful. Some more rares there. Give me a gift card. That'd be good to get. A gift card would be nice to pull. Oh, we've got some really old stuff here as well. We've got some PSs here as well. Savage R. These are definitely some really old school cards right here. So this is, this is not too bad because these do hold a little bit of value. But not too much, though, that's sadly. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, no. This... Oh, Bolt Penguin. <laughs> hey, there he is. <laughs> this looks like was a bad, bad purchase. Oh, no. 
Oh dear lord, this is not good. This is definitely not good. Oh no. This is looking bad. Oh no, no, no. Heavy storm, not too bad. Oh, the golf will be the same, really. I'm not bad again, rares. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Two copies. One day apiece. Definitely worth getting them, actually. They hold a bit of value. Oh, got an English card. Hey, got a crap toll. So that's actually lifted up my spirit a little bit. Oh, Call by the Grave. That's really good, too. Malicious, not too bad. I got what's this. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'll take them. They're from the collection, and we got a, um, a Nightmare Phoenix, that's really good. So we got ourselves a Call by the Grave and two um, war, um, Message of Peace. That, they're really good. Anything else that's going to be quite good to have in the collection that I can use for tournament wise? Rush recklessly, not too bad. Labyrinth Wall. Anything else? Come on. Oh wow, that's cool. Anything else? Oh, Darkness Mirror Force, that's good. Call the Haunted. So out of that lot, we got pretty much, these are quite expensive. I know that for commons. Uh, Call of the Grave can be a bit of, bit of money as well. So let's say, some of the com some of the rares can have a little bit of value, but not too much. I'd probably say it's five, about five pence a piece. I definitely have made my money back either way from the actual holographics I got. The dual terminal, definitely. And the uh, the secret and the super rare of power extravagance has definitely made my money back, but not a lot. So I paid three pound. I could probably say with the commons there as well, I probably can make around about ten quid. So still, it's not a bad thing, but it's not fantastic. But either way, I did get some nice rares and I did get some nice commons that I could definitely use in my tournament. So can't complain. But let's hope this next one is better. This next six hundred yen one. Please, God, let it be true. <laughs> but like I said, people, these are gambles. Different places have different mystery queues. So some people, some shops could be very, very generous and give you everything. And then you have some stores that will crap on you. So there's a super rare right there, that bear. Uh, uh, let me try and lift these up just while I'm getting uh, without spoiling the fun. Uh, you got ourselves an ultra rare. Um, which one is this one? The 20th anniversary JP. Okay, so there's a special card here for the 20th anniversary. I might have a bit of money there for um, Link Karibo. And then we have a Light Swan Twilight, super rare, okay. And then you have yourself your Ultra Rare. I mean, Ultimate Rare right here from, what sets this for? D-A-M-A, -A. okay, interesting. So there's that, so possibly that might have a few couple of quid on it too. Well, let's pray to God that there's something in here, please. More commons. Here we go, please. Something insane. Okay. Some newer cards as well. Okay. Why are you getting myself a lot of doubles there? <laughs> Ooh, just desserts. That's a good card. Odin, draining shield. Not too bad. Okay, nothing insane there. Oh my god, same stuff. Crab Tool, Cyberstein. It's actually all the same stuff. Oh god, limit removal, not too bad. Oh, Duke Frog, not too bad card. Oh man, oh, there's the uncensored version. There we go. And her. Oh, look at that, big titties. Oh, look at that one, that's, she's even naked! Ok, 
Okay. <gasps> we got chicken game. Oh yeah, boy, that is great. Oh yeah, boy. Oh, in Gear Town, I'll take that. And another one, and another one. Oh, but I'll tell you what, chicken game is definitely worth it. I'll have to check the price for that later on. Tell Fallen, good card. Put that down there. Some ancient gear cards. Polymerization is really good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're getting some good cards, but... Oh, nice! We got a ray! I don't have a shuttle foil there, so let's see shuttle foils there. Okay, okay. Inching your golems. Oh, nice. Some more rares there. Twin Twister, Bullet, Shatterfoil, Shatterfoil, Mosaic, Twin Twisters again, Kingdom, and another chicken game. We got two chicken games. Yeah, boy, I'll take that. Okay, that's. That's not too bad. I think Chicken Game could be quite worth a little bit, even though it is a common. But, of course, it is a banned card, but in Japan it's not banned, so... This card could be quite a lifesaver. But, I'll tell you triple dose, not bad commons as well, so I'll take that. And a few good rares. But more likely the ultimate rare, and of course that Link Karibo could be the saviour. But as well, Chicken Game could be a good saviour as well. Possibly with that price there, I could probably say it's going to be around about 15 quid. I could be wrong. The future me will find out in the values when I check them out on the internet. So yeah, did I do well there, people? Um, future me may say yes, future me may say no, I did bad. But like I said, I paid around about just over nine quid. Or, well, not over nine quid, around about just over seven quid, eight quid at most for them two mystery cubes. Hopefully I did make profit. If not, never mind. You, you can't win them all. Anyhow, people, if you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like I said, we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. The people I'm still going to see you guys subscribing. And I'll see you guys for the final episode for this month of Yu-Gi-Oh! pack up Cheerio! I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah!